Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beauty Within. It's your host, Felicia, and it's your host, Rowena. <laughs> Today, we're gonna talk about all things water cream. If you guys haven't tried water creams, they're basically moisturizers that have a gel-like consistency. They're more lightweight than your average like cream or lotion, and some of them have the effect where it does, yes, indeed burst, like it goes on a certain way, yeah. and then it kind of thins out yeah. in a way. Like it, as yeah. you kind of work it into mm. your skin, you feel the bursts of yeah. Yes. Agua. And they generally absorb really quickly. So I think a lot of people with um, oilier skin tend to gravitate towards it, especially in the summer months. But that's not to say that all of them are formulated the same because some of them, like we're going to see today, are a little bit thicker in consistency and is more tailored towards drier combo skin. So they do work for all skin types. So the main differentiating point that I'd say with water creams and just general moisturizers is that mm. they're not greasy, yeah. it doesn't leave a film, and there is like there won't be any residue. If you like, you know, the lightweight, fast absorbing, then this is the video for you. No, but seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we gonna do this? We're gonna start with kind of the most expensive one and the one that Tatcha. got us into it, yeah. Tatcha. And then Rowena will choose and talk about her favorites as well and then I'll do mine and so by the end of it, you'll kind of know the subtle differences between them all. And the differences between pricing as well. <laughs> yes. So let's just jump into Tatcha. Coming in at the top, we have Tatcha's water cream at $68. Okay, so this one I think defines luxury in a way because one, the packaging, a lot of thought goes into the packaging. It has this attachable, detachable spatula mm -hmm. because most of the times those other plastic ones just yeah. fly away and you yeah. never see them again. So Tatcha has the Hadassah 3, which is the combination of green, green tea, tea, rice, rice. Algae. Algae, yes. Yes, and that's the top ingredient for any of their products. Mm -hmm. What would you say was your first impression? Where does it sit now that we've used like 10 other ones? First impression, wow, never tried any product like this before, it's the best. First impression, same here. Using this again for this video and comparing it to these, it does have a very unique texture mm -hmm. where it's this smoothing effect. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. It like first goes on, it's like, Whoa, I feel like a dolphin, actually. <laughs> and then it bursts into water. So after reading a bunch of reviews, some of you who don't like Demithicone said that was one of the pitfalls of this cream. So that's something to consider and the fact that it is like $68. But the texture, I think, is still in a league of its own. It is. Yeah. I still haven't found any of the other things that have matched that. But in terms of hydrating... It was okay. I remember using it in the summer a lot but I feel like for winter, I for sure can't use that. Maybe that's another reason too. It got colder, got drier, so then this mm. didn't work for me. On top of it being so beautiful that I didn't want to touch yeah. it. For oily skin, you can definitely use this all year round. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it, but I think it's like, what would stop me from repurchasing is the price. What is your number one dupe for this? I would say this. This is a recent purchase, actually. The Kiehl's Calendula Serum Infused mm -hmm. Water Cream. Although I feel like nothing really compares to that smoothing feeling. This offers the same kind of after effect, the feeling of it. And why I love this is because the key ingredient is calendula and they boil down the calendula flour. Mm. So it's actually very concentrated. Bing, bling. And I really love the smell of it. It is like straight up calendula. Mm. So I feel like this is actually a very comparable product to the Tatcha. If you look at the ingredients, the dibinthicone is the second ingredient as well. If you read the reviews, it is mixed. Some people say it leaves like a greasier feeling because there are oils in this. So the oils are the emollient that help to soften the skin. I can totally understand that oily feeling because you don't need a lot of it. Yeah, you gave me a lot. I, yeah. I don't like that feeling when I feel like there's a film, like a very thin and light film, but there's a mm. film on my hand. That's surprising because like for your thicker creams, like with the shea butters, yeah. you would typically but use a like, lot of stuff. Mm. But my skin just like... Eats it up. Yeah, this is 
I still feel it. So this is designed for like more of the combo. I wouldn't say it's for acne prone or anything because it's more of a soothing ingredient. The downside of it is that it's $48 and it's quite small. I will say that it really helps calm the skin, like redness and flakiness that I get here. I don't know why all the time, no matter how much I moisturize here, just go away. <laughs> it never does, but this helps with it. Can you use this winter and summer? Yeah, definitely. It is their highest concentration of calendula because you know how they have the toner? Mm. And they also have a sleeping mask. Mm. Yeah. So out of all of them, yeah, it's a serum water cream. I like it. Okay, what's your like similar dupey? So this one is definitely for dry dehydrated skin. All of our creams are so well loved. Look at that. They're all Ding. down to like the last yeah. thread. <laughs> I just got two more. So in it, there's a lot of botanical oils like macadamia, lavender, rosemary, which gives it that more like herbal scent. And there's also ceramides. This has the same similar effect to the Tatcha. I wouldn't say it's mm. exactly comparable, like the burst of water, but there is a bursting effect. Mm. It's just a little more subtle. And for it being $30 at 2.19 ounce. That's bang for buck. It's a bang for buck. And I've been using this for a you long time. You almost get double time. Yeah. Okay, moving on to another one. I think that is kind of like, it's been talked about for a really long time. It's OG. It's been around the yeah. block for a while. And you guys would comment, believe Aqua Bomb in yeah. every video that we would talk about Dukes or Tatcha. Yeah. yeah. And there's been hundreds of articles written on it. If you go to Olive Young or any of those stores, they have it's like number one bestseller yeah. in a lot of places. So there's actually two, right? There's the Aqua Bomb mm -hmm. and then there's the Moisture Moisturizing bomb. bomb. Okay, so the Aqua Bomb for me, I tend to only use in the summer mm -hmm. when I want something like super lightweight. Because mm -hmm. I feel like with some of the water creams, you put it on and it doesn't seal in for a long time, mm -hmm. right? So I feel like it works perfectly for the hotter months when there's already a lot of hydration mm -hmm. and sweat coming everywhere. Um, but in terms of winter, when it gets a little drier, a little bit colder, I tend to not use or reach for this as much. But if you guys haven't heard of the belief, they have their Napier's Moisture. Mm -hmm. It's like their- Ladies Mantle. Ladies Mantle, <laughs> which is once again, in all or like most mm -hmm. of their products, the scent is quite, it's like the herbal. Yeah. Straight up like it's herbal. a bunch of um, apothecary ingredients. Yeah, yeah. Herbs. So the main difference between the Aqua Bomb and then the moisturizing bomb is there's a lot more oils, botanical oils. In the moisturizer, which is what differentiates the two of them. So this is $38 for 1.7 ounce, which is the same size as the Tatcha, but it's $30 less. So I would say if you guys want to try something that's very similar to Tatcha, the Aqua Bomb will probably be the most similar vertical. Because if this is for normal to oily, then the Aqua is for normal, normal to, to oily. oily. And I feel like actually this is a great starting water mm, cream. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't tried it yeah. um, and you want to understand the texture and how it works, like this is a good one. And there's smaller sizes too that's going to be under 38. So this one is 0.84 ounce. Yeah, so it'll be a little cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> The K Beauties. This deep sea water cream is just, it came out, I don't even know where it came <laughs> from, but ever since I got this, I've gone through three tubes already. So this is 60% deep sea water, and what's so special about deep sea water is that the composition, the molecular composition is very similar to the water molecules, I guess, on our body, so it helps um, absorb a lot better. And there's also 2% niacinamide, as well as like green caviar and algae and seaweed, and it's 100% vegan. In terms of the texture, it doesn't mm -hmm. leave any greasy film. No. It's also much more lightweight than this and this. It doesn't burst. Yeah. But when it starts sinking into your skin, you just, your skin feels so refreshed. It's like, ah. Mm. Do you layer that on? Because I'm surprised that's enough for you since it's no. so lightweight. Because one of the biggest things is formulation, right? Yeah. Like the formulation of the ingredients sinking into your yeah. skin. So maybe it's like, even though it's not thick, it's mm -hmm. still delivering Hydrating. the hydration. Yeah. So this is $16 and it is for people with dehydrated oily skin. So you should actually try this. Yeah. 
So another brand that we recently discovered is the one called Wamisa. So Wamisa. Okay, so what they specialize in is fermented ingredients. This is their organic flowers, water cream with natto gum. Ooh. And whoa, how would you describe natto? It's a bean that like, what's the texture? Well, I can talk about the taste. It's a very acquired taste. Yes, it's a very acquired taste. And then taste. I, it's just hard to eat because it's so stringy. You yes. have to like, yes. And it, it like gets everywhere. Okay. Or when you get it, it's like. Yes. Yeah. So you get that with this cream. Oh my cream. god, I'm so excited to oh try. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like, do your normal thing where you go like okay. this, right? Ah. Just a little. You can take the. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. It has the same like stringy. Elasticy, dude, it goes far. Consistency wow. as nacho gum, right? Oh my goodness! It's so crazy because of this fermentation of uh, natto. You know, talking about one of a kind, this is the only water cream that I have tried that gives the moisture mm -hmm. rising effect. But it's not greasy, but you feel like that texture over the face is protected. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this the first time I used it. And you know how normally the first ingredient is water? Mm -hmm. So what they have is rice water and aloe leaf extract is the first mm. two ingredients and the rest of the ingredients are all like natural plant-based. So they say it's for combos, for dry, it's for acne prune, it's for oh. any. Yeah, and you can totally understand why because I've, it's definitely moisturizing enough for dry, mm -hmm. I feel like. And there's wow. no fragrance. Everything like that you experience is all natural. In terms of ingredients, it's got a bunch of oils like apricot, grape seed, carrot seed, which is a brightening ingredient. And then it's got this family of lactobacillus or rice like extract. We'll put them all there. There's a bunch of them. Um, and it's all for soothing, anti-inflammatory properties, you know, calming effects, and super hydrating. I'm sold. It's so good. So in terms of price, for about 1.6, 1.7 fluid ounce, it is $36. So more expensive than Purito, but less than these. Yeah. Yeah. When would you use the Kiehl's and when would you use the Wamisa? If these were both empty right now, what I would buy probably is this one. Oh. Yeah. Because I feel winner. like it's yeah. Ding ding ding. ding, ding, ding. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to a recent launch, the Crave Beauty Oh So Simple Water Cream. Ding. Yeah, so we actually did a interview with Leah, Leah when this first came out. So if you haven't checked that out, what you doing, son? <laughs> So how does this work for your dry -er skin? The thing with this moisturizer is a great base to add things into. Yes, so I feel like yeah. if you like layering a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. playing scientist on mm -hmm. your face, this is great because it's so simple. It really yeah. is so simple. It's 10 ingredients yeah. and I think Leah really wanted to make that a point so that it is no fuss yeah. and you can do these things. And anyone can use this. So this is very lightweight, super fast absorbing and What's cool about oats is that it's, yeah, anti-inflammatory. Yeah. You can just use oat water to splash on your face if you have any sort of itching or irritation. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why she also wanted to pick oat as the key ingredient. So for this, I will mix in a pump of Purito's hyaluronic acid or some oils. Yeah, like a rosehip oil, squalane oil, mm -hmm. just to boost the emollient yeah. and like softening, skin softening property. Because if you have super dry skin, something that's really lightweight isn't going to trap mm -hmm. in moisture no. for over like a yeah. few hours, right? It might be fine as soon as you put it on, but in terms of long term, so you want to add something in a little bit. Um, so that gives you the freedom to do that. Whereas other ones, it like mixes in with other ingredients and mm -hmm. then you don't know if it's going to affect yeah. the, the way that it works on your skin. Another thing is this will be a really great moisturizer for you to dump in the vitamin C powder. So it's kind of like um, a simple canvas for the mm -hmm. face. Yeah, it's gonna help your skin barrier and then you can either choose to paint on it or not. It's also $28 for 2.7 fluid ounce. Super affordable. Mm -hmm. There's this bio water cream mm. and this bio moisture cream. <coughs> Ding! 
So this is kind of like the belief and the aqua balm and the moisturizing yeah. balm. But I would say it's like this family just works so much better for my skin because I can use a water cream and I could also use a moisture cream. I generally gravitate more towards the moisture cream. Yeah. Especially now that it's colder. Yeah. But I used this earlier today and it's it works beautifully. My like problematic kind of oilier skin mm. type. I feel like in terms of texture first, mm -hmm. this as soon as you put it on, it's like splash. It is. <laughs> yeah. And splash. <laughs> it's like splash. None of the other world. ones are that instant. But I was using this over the course of like one week consecutively, uh -huh. and I felt like it wasn't enough. I actually started flaking in those areas that wow. I flake. I had to put another moisturizer on top of it. So I'm gonna go back to that definitely in the summer, but yeah. in terms of like active ingredients, they have this whole innovative, like, you know, the microbiome yeah. of your skin and gut. They somehow formulated this biome yeah. technology into this. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's in both of these. Yeah. So would you say, Dr. Jar water cream would be the same as the belief and the crave. I think in the ingredients here, there's something more like protected, like that, not film, but like that layer mm -hmm. on top. It keeps the moisture underneath um, a little bit better. But yeah, I would say it's very similar to the oat. So in this cream, there's 80% of the Jart Biome probiotic ferment. Mm. There's also 1% triple hyaluronic acid, so it's like the different molecular weights, mm. and also 1% prebiotics. Mm. So it's like probiotic, prebiotic for your gut, but it's also for your face. I wonder what that's from. Just think of a yogurt. What a yogurt does for your body, this does for the face. <laughs> but then, yeah, this one is like soybean, so it's a little bit different. So the difference between the water cream and the moisture cream, the moisture cream has 65% of that jar biome and 0.1% of the prebiotics. So it's a little less compared to this, but there's a lot more creams, yeah, like shea butter, oils, and both of them have niacinamide. Okay, so this is the Bliss Water Jelly Hydrator. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. Okay, so you used that one recently. Yes, it's just okay. This mm. reminds me of the Peter Thomas Roth cream. Water Drench Cream. Which we don't have here, because we couldn't we, find. We'll talk about it now with yeah. this as well. So the main, the active ingredient is hyaluronic acid. Yeah. And it is very hydrating and it's very lightweight. This is $38 for... 1.7. 1.7. Peter Thomas Roth has 30% hyaluronic acid in three molecular sizes. That is $35 for 1.7 ounce. I feel like for these, products might as well go for something that's very clean and reliable and soothing like the crave and adding a pump of hyaluronic acid so i find that this texture is very similar to the keels maybe because dimethicone is so far up but then it's also pretty high up for the tatcha but that one doesn't feel like this it really comes down to formulation so this one, not gonna lie, only tried this like <laughs> once when I first came, uh -huh. <laughs> when it first came in the thing. This is the Bliss Water Jelly Hydrator. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. No, you know, watermelon, 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 good man. Watermelon, 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 watermelon. Okay, it's actually not that strong of a smell, although it's quite a strong of a color. <laughs> I think when when it's so close to your face though. It's a pleasant summery scent, but definitely for the summer. What I would say with this one, we don't gravitate towards this, yeah. but I think once again, if you're just getting into it, if you're in your teens, if you have super oily skin, and you know, skincare is fun, and I think that's what they also tried to emulate mm -hmm. because the packaging yeah. and everything, like it, is kind of that type of water cream. If you're, not to say that like, you're not serious about skincare, but if you look more into the science and all that stuff, then this probably isn't for you. Maybe something like mm. these. So this one is 20. Also, Bliss is like those cruelty-free, very aware of all the, you know, things what that they're we don't doing. like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, for that price, $20, I would recommend Ding. Yeah, that's for true. The 16. It, this is more like no frills. Yeah. And then we have I'm from last yeah. one. Vitamin tree water gel. 68%. Yeah. Vitamin tree. And this is 2.6 ounce. So what is, is vitamin tree? Sea buckthorn. Oh. It's a very refreshing texture. Oh, it's very light. Yeah, definitely would not wear this in the winter. Mm. Or you can layer this. Or it'd be good under sunscreen. 
Because when you put sunscreen on, it can sometimes be like, uh, you know, it has a layer yeah. on your face. So if you want something lightweight to layer on, I think these lighter weight ones do really well. Because it is gel, it's more similar to the Tarte and the Dr. Jart. Yeah. And the Calendula. Actually, they're it's all more very like this. Yeah. So that is our What a Cream video. <laughs> I actually just set the whole thing in my head, but like the Woodchuck version. Yeah. <laughs> like it's it's time to go to bed. <laughs> so if you have your favorite water creams, leave it below. Sharing is caring. Let us know what your favorite water creams are. Water or if cream. you've tried them. Yeah, or if you've tried these and if you share the same thoughts and feelings. Feelings are always good. <laughs> we have lots of them. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next episode. Water out. Splashing <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs>